Are you doing cocaine, Fred? No, but those antibiotics make you go to the bathroom all the time. Do they, Charles? I, I, I guess that could be an effect. Okay. I don't, just don't know. Then no. my, my brother had to go smoke. You know what time I got home? Well, I heard you say around midnight. It's about 12.30. Oh, 12.30, I'm sorry. Two and a half hours from the bookstore to Dear back to Manhattan. God. Hey, what can we do? A, a dual book signing down there at the courthouse. What do you mean? Judge got a book. We got a book. <laughs> got a lot of publicity going. Got that publicity thing going. Sure. Nobody wants a judge's book. The judge's book sucks. <laughs> yeah, but they'd show up. They'd show up for it. Of course, I could have put the judge's book on the best seller list if he'd have behaved himself. And you know, mm -hmm. you know, and when you might want to think about that. Give me that's a not a bad book the judge wrote. In fact, it could be a best seller. In fact, you, know, here's the you thing. could be the one that puts it on the list. Here's what's also amusing. I've never even seen the judge's book. <laughs> 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 Just hey, but, uh, it's, it's a, uh, Bernie, the judge's book's called Guilty, I believe, published by Random House. Right. That's my publisher. Give me a copy of it. 10-4. So we'll find out. What maybe it is pretty. Uh, maybe I've maybe heard, it, maybe I've it, heard it was a, an excellent book, and and we could have a dual book signing, man, and and then it would be great. You, me, and the judge. Yeah. Think How great that. would that be? Well, that's beautiful. All right. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, 12 minutes after the hour here on the <laughs> I'm Mr. Wayne program. So that's where we are with that. Uh, the judge has Milton Gould, and I have David Boys, and uh, let's get it on. Yeah. So are they likely so. to call me as a witness? Well, no. I don't think Some so. Some kind of character witness or something? Oh, well, they might, yeah. Oh. So, how do you feel this morning, by the way? I feel fine. Feel good. Now, we're going to have a big signing tomorrow, Fred. I'm ready. I'm ready for the signing. Do you think that you could sit and sign books rather than... Do you eat? think you could not snap at me? <laughs> well, uh, I get up to go take a break, my, and I come back, and my brother says... Do you want to do this or not after I've been there four hours? Yes, but the point is, Fred, that I had been up since 4 o'clock in the morning. And then I, I had to get back up this morning at 4 o'clock, and you didn't have to. And so you wouldn't sit there and sign books. You, you, you fool around and went to the bathroom five times, and, you, and then you're out in front of the store smoking. <laughs> I was out in front of the store signing books and smoking. Well, whatever. Uh, so what's your tri-state? Pardon me? <laughs> you're a jerk. Anyway, Fred and I will be, uh, it's a total Imus family appearance. Me, Fred, and Deidre. Yeah, we'll all the cat? Well, uh, we'll have to, we may have the cat, too. Oh, okay. Kay. Depends how the cat's feeling. It. Yeah, morning. we'll all be at the R.J. Julia Bookstore tomorrow in Madison, Connecticut, starting at around 10 o'clock in the morning, probably a little bit before. Now, you know, if you have bought the book or you or you haven't bought it yet, and uh, you, you're thinking, well, how am I going to get it signed? Man, this bookstore out in Long Island had a great idea. People called from all over the country mm -hmm. and bought the book there, and then Fred and I signed it last night, and then they're going to mail it back to them. Perfect. So you can call the R.J. Julia Bookstore in Madison, Connecticut, 203-245-3959. Buy your book from them. Fred and I will sign it, and they'll ship it to you. That's a great idea. So well, you, somebody thought it was a good idea because a lot of people did it. Say you're in Wichita, Kansas. Say you're in San Francisco. Say you're in Everett, Washington. Say you're in Tucson. Say you're in Detroit, Philly. Say so you're in Madison, get my, Connecticut, and you just don't feel like standing in line. i got to get my in. book signed. Mm -hmm. Say so you don't want to stand in line for five hours. Well, call the bookstore. There you Get go. the book. There is a method. Sure. Two Guys, Four Corners, sponsored by Mohegan Sun. Fred and I will be up there at the end of July, probably, something like that. So, What's your Tri-State GP Eagle Sports Lock of the Week, Fred? Silver Charm's going to be in the winner's circle. Who's that horse that almost beat Silver Charm? Not uh, Mr. Muffet or whatever that horse's name was. but I can't think of the horse that almost beat him. However, that horse won't beat him tomorrow. So... It's another example of my brother just doing. Yeah. Why well, do you even bother to call? I have my sports picks. Okay, what else do you have? That's all I have. That's it? That's a single pick this week. I, oh, I, man. And, uh, also, McBay is going to be in that room with the gurney and the IV. He's going to get the death penalty? I think so, yeah. Okay. Good well, uh, Those are two things you can count on. Dr. Bodget or, or something. What's that horse's name, Fred? Captain Bodge. Captain I don't Bodge. think he's running. Um. Okay, Captain Bodge is not running, but there's another horse. Oh, Fool's gold or something. There's Brain, no. Well, oh, Brain shouldn't know because Brain's he's a sports guy. Brain wouldn't know. Mr. Red. There's another horse who almost beat. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I know he did. I, I can't I can't recall the I name know. of that well, horse. We know you can't. Oh. Well, you don't sound like you'd feel well or in a good humor this morning, Fred. I'm in a great humor. Okay. Touch gold. Touch okay, gold. There yeah. we go. I'm picking Tusk Gold to win the uh, Belmont.
think you're making a fool of yourself. No, well, we'll find out, <laughs> won't we? That's new. We'll find out, won't we? Chrome Dome face. <laughs> Did you see 48 Hours? Yes, I did. And? I thought they did an excellent job. That was a good show. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. How about your segment? My segment? <laughs> <laughs> well, I missed that. I blinked. <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly No, nine. they did a great job. I mean, the way they put that thing together, you wouldn't think that they could put something so slick together. No, you wouldn't, would they? But they sure did. It was wonderful. Great. <sighs> Try to get to the radio station by 11, would you? 11? Yeah. Boy. <laughs> well, because I may take you up to Connecticut, or I may not. We, we leaving at 11? Yes, Fred. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Right. I love you. Eat it. <laughs> My brother, it's just... Oh, wow. God. <laughs> useless. Total doof. Just a, a total doof. Silver charm. <laughs> I don't know who else is running. It's just useless. Piece. I like the piece. Won't be funny. Won't sign autographs. Is hygienically challenged. Oh, where's the wow. bathroom? Follically challenged. I don't know. And doesn't see any of it, you know. And then when I say something to him, because he has me sitting there for 10 minutes doing nothing. And I've already been up since 4 o'clock in the morning, and i got to get back up again this morning at 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And at that point, it's 9.30 at night. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, and I'm an hour and a half from Manhattan. It, it, under the best conditions. Under the best conditions, yeah. and he's outside smoking, and I got, you know, I got irritable about it. <laughs> and he doesn't have to get up at four o'clock. He doesn't have to do. Any, he doesn't have to do anything. Ugly incident. So mm. inconsiderate. And he gets tired. Of, for, you know, all he has to do is sign a few books. Well, we some well maybe we signed books for five hours. Yeah. I mean, that's a long time to sign books, but still, I mean, that's, that's all he, he had to do. That's all he had to yeah. do. He didn't have to do two programs. Write his name. A few times. Well, a few hundred times. <laughs> so I don't know. And, and then he starts whining because I bit, <laughs> bitch at him. It's 18 after the hour. Don, Fred, you've hit the trifecta. You're live on the radio, live on MSNBC on cable, and now live on NBC. We're blanketing the airwaves. How are you guys? Uh, fine, Katie. How are you? You guys really occupy two very different worlds these days, don't you? Well, Fred lives out in Santa Fe and runs uh, his deal there and has a little lower key existence than I do, but we're both fairly happy. But Fred <laughs> runs the Auto Body Express, right, Fred? Yeah, I don't go around on a jet, but I, I do have an <laughs> F-150. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like on the jacket of the book, you guys, when you have about the authors, you say they are not members of Mensa. I was sho so shocked when I read that, Don. <laughs> if your radio like sucks in the morning, you're listening to I Miss in the Morning. When we could get you some kind of medal for all this hardship you've gone through on these photographs. No, no but she has. Wah, wah. She just I asked me. I like one uh, of the goats and the sheep. You know, that was pretty neat. So dangerous. did Fred, by the way. <laughs> I know. I understand Fred thought a couple of them were pretty cute. Fred, I'll, I'll married one of them sheep. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. I'm